Hi, I'm Adam Ramvel, Editor-in-Chief of the Central New York Business Journal, with some additional thoughts on the current state of the economy and the jobs market. On Friday, July 8, we saw a dismal, very disappointing national employment report. The report had virtually no good news in it. Not only was the jobs growth disappointing, only 18,000 jobs created when analysts were expecting about 100,000, but on top of that, we saw the unemployment rate rise to 9.2%. That's the second straight month of rising unemployment. But we also saw the uh, national labor force participation rate decline to a fresh 27-year low. Uh, we also saw the overall size, uh, the amount of people that are not in the labor force rose. The average hours worked fell. The average wage uh, fell. Uh, there was nothing but bad news in the report. But on top of that, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics also took its May and April jobs growth data and revised it down. So basically, there were fewer jobs created than originally thought. On July 14, we saw fresh data painting to yet more weakness in the jobs market. Uh, the number of people filing for initial employment, unemployment benefits nationally uh, was above 400,000. That's the 14th straight week above that key 400,000 level. But the unemployment claims did decline somewhat. However, in New York State, the number of initial jobless claims rose by more than 6,000 in the latest week. That's the most in the nation. We'll get more jobs data for the Empire State next July 21 when the State Labor Department issues its employment data for the month of June. The bottom line, though, is the jobs market continues to be stubbornly weak and the data continues to come in below expectations, report after report. Furthermore, surveys of consumers and business confidence, especially small companies, are showing a lack of optimism. People just are not confident about the future and future economic conditions. All of this weakness is casting doubt on the conventional wisdom among many economists that we were going to see a strong snapback in the economy in the second half of the year. The economy grew at a just 1.9% GDP clip in the first quarter, and we'll find out on July 29 what the second quarter GDP growth was but it's largely thought to be in that 1.5 to 2.0 percent area, which is stubbornly soft, below expectations, and generally not considered strong enough to really rev up the, this nation's jobs engine. But in spite of all that, many economists have been fairly rosy about the second half of the year. They've been saying we're going to see 3 percent, 3.5 percent, 4 percent growth in the second half of the year. And right now, the data is coming in, that's coming in is casting a lot of doubt on that. But we won't know until we know. So until then, stay tuned. I'm Adam Rombo with the Central New York Business Journal and CNYBJ.com. Thank you.